Well, to discuss this more, I'm joined from Washington by uh, Sayyid Ali Wasif, President of Society for International Reforms and Research. Welcome to the program, sir. Mr. Wasif, uh, uh, just how vulnerable is the Shia community in Pakistan? Well, uh, unfortunately, uh, this act of terrorism has been going on for almost two decades now against the Shias of Pakistan. Uh, this act or these acts actually are an integral part of the Pakistan's domestic policy by its military. So these are not random acts but are totally planned uh, killings and genocide of the Shiites by the Pakistan's military. So uh, uh, in the name of jihad. So uh, actually the forces behind these killings are Pakistan's intelligence agencies, its military, uh, and the top uh, civil bureaucracy as well. And the media is complicit. Uh, Pakistan's media is totally complicit uh, uh, with uh, this kind of situation. Uh, this kind of stuff is actually in the name of a strategic depth in Afghanistan by the mi so-called military's perception of uh, making a breakthrough into Afghanistan uh, to consolidate its uh, uh, northern uh, borders uh, in Afghanistan and through Afghanistan uh, against the Indian uh, onslaught. So uh, this is a myth, not a reality, actually. Uh, this is totally a utopian concept of defense uh, uh, made by the Pakistan's uh, military intelligentsia. So it has nothing to do with the practical aspects of Pakistan's national security. Indeed. Uh, I think. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, Mr. Wasif, I mean, uh, why isn't the uh, government doing anything? I mean, we hear that the Lashkari Jangvi terrorist outfit uh, has claimed responsibility for this. First of all, who is this uh, Lashkari Jangvi uh, outfit serving? And second, just tell us more about the history of this outfit. Yeah, Lashkari Jangvi is a splinter group of the uh, Sipa Sahaba organization, a terrorist outfit as well. Uh, established in the mid-80s by the then General Ziaul Haq, the then president of Pakistan, the military dictator uh, in the mid-80s in uh, uh, the Pakistani province of Punjab. Uh, this lashkar e jangvi is a splinter group of that Sipa Sahaba, uh, also established by the Pakistan's military elite then. Uh, so these are the people, uh, lashkar e jangvi the Sipa Sahaba, and all those uh, jihadi organizations are basically, uh, uh, you know, in connivance with the military's policies to crush the Shiites uh, there in Pakistan, uh, which are totally against the terrorist policies of Al-Qaeda, Taliban, and other terrorists, uh, engaged in terrorist activities against India, the United States, and all other uh, 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 countries there, especially Afghanistan there as well. So, Lashkar e Jangwi was uh, basically established in the name of the assassinated uh, chief of the Sipa Sahaba in the mid 80s, uh, Molana uh, uh, Jangwi, uh, who was assassinated in the Punjab province in the late 80s. So these are the people now are now being sheltered and patronized by the military organizations of Pakistan, especially the ISI, and they work uh, uh, there under the patronage of ISI, uh, otherwise how could they receive such an amount of munitions and uh, explosive material and financial aid without the, uh, the, the supply from the uh, intelligence agencies in Pakistan? So they are the people who at times work on behalf of Al-Qaeda, on behalf of Taliban, and at times they work uh, on their own behalf uh, uh, against the Shiites there. Uh, they also have killed some generals of Pakistan, military, they have attacked military establishments in Pakistan, and uh, their leader is uh, Malik Isaq, who was uh, just released uh, a year ago uh, after 15 years of imprisonment, imprisonment by the order of the Pakistan's military chief, General Kiani, because he was engaged in a dialogue uh, when Lashkar e Jangwi and others, when they attacked the Pakistan's uh, military headquarters, and they took hostage a couple of generals of the Pakistan's military, and this Malik Isaq of, of the Lashkar e Jangwi, the chief of Lashkar e Jangwi, was invited for negotiations, and he was a person behind the release of those two generals of the Pakistan's military. Uh, that's why now the Pakistan military 
is now paying off its uh, a debt by allowing these Lashkar Jangwi people and all other terrorists uh, uh, to kill Shiites, uh, not just in Quetta, but all over Pakistan. All right. We'll have to leave it there for the time. Many thanks there to Sayyid Ali Wasif, President of Society for International Reforms and Research from Washington. Thanks for your time there, sir.